Please remember that you are not alone. Uh, we in Nepal faced a similar tragedy last year, but what we found is amongst the chaos and desperation, we also found resilience and hope. So take care and stay strong. Most important thing to consider is the families, uh, family members who have less been affected by the trauma should be ready to help those family members who are in need or the neighbors or the people around are the best ones to support the people in need. We are deeply sorrowed to hear the news about the devastating earthquake that took place in Japan and Equator recently. Uh, we can empathize the situation because we have also gone through the similar situation only last year. It was difficult but uh, you know that was the moment that uh, taught us the importance of time value of people, friends, colleagues, work, and commitment to deliver. So I think uh, my ultimate message would be to all of your friends is be patient, have faith in yourself, believe and continue to do the best you can. Remember that the, clear, that the sky will be clearer after the rain, so be patient. Uh, to all the people of Ecuador and Japan, uh, I want to say on behalf of uh, the people of Nepal that like we are with you, you are in our prayers, and uh, we are praying for the safety of you, of your family, and all your people. And I hope uh, God will give you the strength to come out of this experience stronger and to build back better. Um, from my own personal experience, I feel that going through a massive disaster like that is never too easy, and it, no matter how prepared you feel you are, it always takes you by surprise. But don't let that um, dampen your spirit. Stay positive, be prepared, and um, stay calm. I mean, I feel, you know, all the things. Just, just for now, simply, I'm ready. Just now, I'm ready. 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 I